So when we add up equations 1 and 3, let me write it here, that is equations 1 and 3 added. On the right hand side I have got M1A plus M2A, let me write it on the left hand side for convenience, we are having M1 plus M2 inside bracket into A. And as you can see on the left hand side, T plus M1G sin theta minus F1 plus M2G sin theta minus T minus F2. So the T's cancel out and we have got M1G sin theta plus M2G sin theta minus F1 minus F2, isn't it? It is time now to apply the law of friction and see from equations 2 and 4 what we might get. According to the law of friction, the frictional force is mu times the normal force. So the frictional force F1 acting on block 1, we might write it to be frictional coefficient mu1 into the normal force N1. But then equation number 2 has given me N1 is equal to M1G cos theta and therefore F1 is coming out to be mu1 into M1G into cos theta. And similarly, the frictional force F2 acting on block number 2 is given by mu2 into N2. So this is mu2 into N2. And then again, from equation number 4, N2 is equal to M2G into cos theta. Therefore, F2 is coming out to be mu2 into M2G into cos theta. Putting these two values in the previous step, we are getting that M1 plus M2 into A, that is equal to M1 plus M2 if I take inside bracket into G sin theta minus this is mu1 m1 G cos theta and F2 is mu2 m2 G cos theta and therefore if I take G cos theta well let me write it here like this mu1 m1 plus mu2 m2 inside bracket and outside I write G cos theta, isn't it? Once we are here, it follows therefore acceleration of the two block system moving down the incline A, that is coming out to be G sin theta. I'm dividing both sides by M1 plus M2 and I'm getting this G sin theta minus mu1 M1 plus mu2 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 let me put this inside bracket into g cos theta we have got all the values with us g is 9.8 meter per second square theta is 37 degree area it will take sine 37 degree to be 0 0.6 cos 37 degree to be about 0 0.8 mu1 let me start putting the values here if i could take g as common here let me enter inside the bracket sine 37 degree that is 0 0.6 minus mu1 that was given to be 0 0.75 into mass m1 that was given to be 4 kg i'm just writing the numbers only because the ratio plus mu2 that was given to be 0 0.25 mass m2 was given to be 2 kg this thing divided by m1 plus m2 that is 4 plus 2 into cos 37 degree that is about 0 0.8 this whole thing into the value of g that is 9.8 meter per second square complete the calculation and show that the value of a is coming out to be about 1.31 meter per second square in three significant figures. So we conclude that both the blocks move down the incline 
with the same acceleration of about 1.31 meter per second square. If you remember, the problem also asks us to find the tension in the string connecting the blocks. And once we have got the value of acceleration of the blocks, we can return to either equation number one or three and get the value of the force of tension. So I am here returning to equation number one and getting from it T is equal to M1A minus M1G sine theta plus F1, isn't it? If you just go for the rearrangement, we get the magnitude of tension force that is M1 into A minus M1G sine theta plus the frictional force. Now frictional force already has been found to be mu1 M1 G into cos theta here. So I put the value that is M1A minus M1 G sine theta plus mu1 m1g into cos theta. This is giving me, if I take m1 as common, I enter inside a bracket, this is a minus, well, if I take g again common inside, then I am getting sine theta minus mu1 into cos theta. Let us put the values now, M1 is given to be 4 kg, entering the bracket, A has been just now found to be 1.31 meter per second square minus G is 9.8 meter per second square into sine 37 degree 0 0.6 minus mu1 was 0 0.75 into cos 37 degrees is 0 0.8. As you can check, this quantity inside this round bracket, this is just cancelling out, this is coming out to be 0. So this term vanishes, I'm just left with 4 kg into 1.31 meter per second square and that value is coming out to be 5.24 Newton in three significant figures. So we have got answers of both the parts, acceleration of the two block system, 1.3 meter per second square down the incline, and the tension in the string is 5.24 Newton. And these are the answers of this question. Hello students, you got a glimpse of our video lessons through this small lecture. We have hundreds of lectures like this one, covering various topics of advanced school level, and intermediate physics in our website. They are exhaustive and often accompanied by elaborate diagrams to make concepts even clearer. They are taught with passion and sometimes with a bit of fun. So at the end of the lesson, you have a commanding grip on the subject and you are ready for the board and competitive exams. Subscribe at physicsacademyonline.com to access video lectures of highest standard on various topics of physics.